girls. All right, so what we're gonna do now is I'm going to show you how to graph the data from Nick's slow then fast walk, starting from zero over by the refrigerator, over to the eight meter um, card, which was over by the sliding door. All right, so I already have the data table that we made. And now the next step is to take the data table and turn it into coordinates which really just means copying the data over from the time into the time coordinate, which is the first coordinate. So 5, 9, 11. 5, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14.5, and then 15. All right, let's do it. So this video is nice and short, and you can get on with your life. All right, the first point is zero distance and zero time, and I already have that graphed for you. All right, now it's five time and one meter. Crawl over to the five, climb up one. The next coordinate is nine and two. Crawl over to the nine, climb up to the two. All right, the next coordinate is 11 and three. Crawl over to the 11 and climb up to the three. All right, the next one is 12 and four. Crawl over to the 12 and climb up to the four. All right, and then crawl over to the 13 and climb up to the five. All right, and then we're crawling over to 14. You can see that now, crawl over to 14 and climb up to six. And then 14 and a half, only half a second to go to the next one. All right. And that's on the seven meter. And then 15 and eight. Climb over to 15 and go up to eight. Now, when you look at this data, boys and girls, I want you to see if you notice something different about it than when we were doing a constant speed. This looks like a funky diagonal, but it kind of also doesn't, right? Do you notice that it kind of curves, right? So if I take my pencil and connect it, you can see that when you're gradually increasing the speed, you form a curvy line. Right. And it just happens because it takes longer to go um, a short distance. And then as you move faster, right, it doesn't take as long, which then quickly brings your distance up within a really less time. Now, this kind of graph is showing slow, then fast. Now the easy, easy tip for figuring this out, like when you have to identify what kind of graph it is on your own, is just to look at the back of the graph. Now, last week, and even I think yesterday in your videos, we were talking about how if you are going fast, then you have a steep slope, right? So a steep slope is a fast speed. And um, a slope that is not so fast is slower. <clears throat> it's a slow speed. And we know that because if you have a straight horizontal, then there's no motion at all. So the way I always tell people to remember this is to remember that when you have a horizontal line, it's no motion whatsoever. And then if your speed is just a little bit faster than nothing, then your slope of your diagonal is going to be just a little. And then if you really increase your speed, which means you're, you're taking less time to do things, then it makes the slope get very, very steep. Now, to be able to tell if your graph is going from fast to slow or slow to fast, just look at the back, circle the back part of it and decide if the, it's still a curve, but it's kind of a diagonal. See if this diagonal here at the end, when you, when you circle the back part of it, maybe like the back third. Diagonal, is this diagonal right here? Is it slow or fast? Is it more like this one or is it more like this one, right? 
So the way you can think about this is because it's clear that it's getting steeper at the back. So we know that it's getting fast. And of course, in science, we always would say it like this, increasing speed. So when you see that the end of the diagonal is getting very steep, you know that you're increasing speed. Increasing speed. And we're gonna practice this and do a quizzes and all that stuff so that you get really, really good at it. But for now, I just want you to see what Nick's walk when he went really slow and then went much faster, how that forms a curvy line, right? And then I need you to know that to tell from this, like you remember the main idea of all that we're doing is so that when you see a graph, you can really quickly go, oh, I know what's happening in that data, right? And when it's at the end of it, right? then you want you can see that it's getting very steep and that means that it's getting faster now look over here see how much flatter it was see how it's the, this part of it was like this right so i know it was slow and then i know it's getting faster so i can tell that the speed is increasing good work y'all